Place.co.uk has come here to the headquarters of the Royal Aeronautical Society to talk to Will Whitehorn of Virgin Galactic. And also we'll be talking to Heather McCree from the BNSC about a new competition for young people to get involved in space. The ability to provide them and if we don't have any... Will Whitehorn, you're here at the Royal Aeronautical Society today with an announcement. Can you tell us what it is? Yeah, what we've announced today is basically uh, uh, an arrangement between the Royal Aeronautical Society, Virgin Galactic and the RAF to launch a schools competition. And it's a schools competition based around the mission of Virgin Galactic itself. So it's based around the science and technology of the spaceship, the science and technology of the space launch system, and obviously the broader science and technology and opportunities in space. And this is the, the vehicle that you hope to have this experiment on? This is indeed Spaceship Two. Um, spaceship Two has been developed as a new spaceship uh, out of an original spaceship that was developed by Bert Rutan to win the X Prize in 2004. And Spaceship Two is pretty different to Spaceship One in terms of its look but it's actually not different in terms of its technology. It's again, it's larger than Spatial One. This is about the size of a Gulfstream 4 corporate jet. It'll carry two pilot astronauts in the front who fly it manually as a system. So I'm talking now to Heather McRae from the BNSC. Heather, welcome to space.co.uk. You're passionate about space and you want as many young people to be involved in it as possible. What activities do you have planned for them? Right, our latest idea is to get kids to take the Space Challenge and we're working very closely with Space Adventures and in particular with a guy called Richard Garriott who is going to be the first British-born space explorer and he's going up to the International Space Station in October 2008 and he's inviting young people from the UK to get involved in his mission.